Well, good morning. Welcome to Hawes in the Yorkshire Dales, about halfway up Wensley Dale on the A684. Well known uh, biker's haunt. Just had a very pleasant coffee and sandwich at the Pennygarth Cafe just across the road there. Probably can't see it too well on the action camera, but uh, definitely worth a visit if you're passing. Food and coffee always good. So, uh, it's a bit of a changeable day, but it's been the best day for a while. And first day out in 2024, so uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Right, let's uh, get back on the road. Um, in the summer, probably quite difficult to find a parking spot uh, for your biking horse. So, uh, I was lucky this morning. Plenty of room. Uh, one or two riders out though, which is good. Um, anyway, destination now is uh, Apposet, which is just a mile or two west of Hawes on the A684. And depending on the conditions when I get there, there's um, a bit of a a monument, I guess, to a past age. So I'm hoping to try and get a little bit of um, footage of that. So I've now turned left onto a very minor road, which uh, takes me up alongside the Widdale Beck. Front wheel just uh, washed out a bit there on the gravel but uh, managed to keep a hold of it. Ooh, somebody working there in the ditch. So we'll just take our time up here. And this is what I wanted to come and see. This is the um, Apposet Viaduct, long, uh, long disused, but uh, part of the branch that ran from Hawes Junction at Garsdale and came down to uh, to Hawes and met the branch from from North Allerton. Well, I don't know how well this light is coming out um, amongst the rain showers, but I'm currently heading north from Askrig over the moors towards Muka, and I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, I'm going to run into some cloud, but uh, I'm taking a chance because the weather's really strange today. Parts of the dale it's nice parts of the dale it's not so nice um, so we'll just take a chance and see what's what so we're just climbing up anyway um, and uh, some classic dale scenery with the limestone crags and the little barns branching off the stone walls and the steeply sided gills cutting through the boulder clay so yeah, it's nice. It does look a little bit 
foreboding up there, that dark colour, but we'll just see uh, how far we get. So not very long now before we uh, reach the summit and drop over the, the crest and start uh, dropping into Fueldale and the road uh, does split up here, I'm going to take the left branch which drops me down towards Muka with a few interesting uh, twisty bits on the way so I'll just uh, take my time at the junction, it is quite windy here quite a strong crosswind from the sort of left don't know how well the camera's picking that up but it's looking beautiful in Swaledale What's not to like about that for a view, eh? So we'll drop down into Swaledale now, hopefully i uh, got some drone footage there which you've probably seen by now if it was any good, <laughs> um, hopefully it was, uh, I knew it would be a little bit more sheltered on the lee side of the hill in this valley and uh, it did squeak at me once saying the wind was a bit strong but most of the time it wasn't actually so um, that's all right so this is a as you can see a very twisty little run down into um, Swaledale there's an even sharper one uh, a bit nearer the bottom but uh, we'll just take our time I think it's uh, although that breeze feels chilly it's you know there's certainly no no sign of anything frozen which um, I rather like. <laughs> um, I don't want to go slip sliding about if I haven't got to. It's meant to be pleasure after all. Lovely, just nice to be out anyway. After a few weeks of pretty unpleasant weather really. Um, As you can see it is pretty sharp and there's all sorts of junk and rubbish on the road so don't want to be slipping and sliding. I'm probably over cautious but I'd rather be that way to be quite honest. Yeah there is an awful lot of loose material here. Um, so I think I do right to be careful because that's pretty steep always a good place to meet the postman on the bend anyway there we go yep it's the B6270 I couldn't remember the number but there we go so I'm going to take a right Anyway, we'll take a, a right and a left, join the tank road for a bit and uh, head towards Billaby and if the Manor Farm Cafe's not absolutely packed, I'll have a cup of tea. If it is, I'll 
um, goes with the heron there to my left, I don't know if you can see that flying majestically along I always think they look a little bit pterodactyl like not that I've seen many pterodactyls this morning so that's Bellaby village in front so I don't know where the manor calf's going to go hopefully find itself a permanent home because it's had got, got itself quite a following over the years and there was a, or there is a um, motorcycle service and tyres there which I've used quite often got no complaints about at all so hopefully that's um, still going to be there it was quite handy if you're having your bike MOT to nip across for a um, a sausage butty and a, a coffee while uh, the bike was being MOT'd or having a new tyre, that was quite handy um, anyway we'll see Well, I don't suppose it will be the Manor Farm Cafe, will it, if it's not at the Manor Farm? So that's not good. Is there going to be any, any parking at all before I commit? No, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Royal Enfield there. And off we go, looking very nice now. to the home stretch here so I think it's time to sign off say so thanks very much indeed for coming along please click like and subscribe that really helps even if you haven't liked it you could still click like it wouldn't hurt um, and I'd appreciate it so thanks for watching look forward to seeing you on the next vlog cheers for now